Today, I've got a very special guest here with me. I've got a young lady here by the name of Rochelle Tiger Lady Renee. Incidentally, if the name sounds familiar, well, it should. She happens to be my niece. Thank you, Rochelle, for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Tiger Lady. What made you get involved in martial arts? I've been doing martial arts since the age of four. Um, I got into martial arts because, of course, you and my father and uh, were very, very deep into the martial arts. And my father put me in at a young age. And you know, I think it's very important for the women and girls to learn how to defend themselves at a young age. And if not at a young age, at any age, as long as they learn how to defend themselves and, and make sure that they're safe. What has martial arts done for you personally? Personally, well, I've um, become a strong, strong, um, independent woman um, being in the martial arts. When I was younger, I was the only girl in my class, so it, it forced me to be a little tougher, um, having to spar with the boys and having to compete with the boys. And I think that's um, a good way to, to bring up the girls nowadays, especially seeing that times are a lot tougher. Um, there's, there's more violence, there's more negative influence with drugs and alcohol and, and, and things like that. You, you want to keep the girls on a positive path. So I try and teach my girls that, you know, you've got to be tough, you've got to be strong, stand up for yourself, don't let anyone take advantage of you, don't let anyone um, push upon you negative influences. Always stay positive and keep a, a good mindset. Great. Uh, if I was to ask you, what would be your key point or key issue of the whole martial arts that you felt that's more significant than anything else in martial arts, what would it be to you? Self-development, self-confidence, those types of things. Just the being able to develop you as, as a person in a positive manner because martial arts not only is just kicking and punching, it's, it's mental development it's, as, as well as physical development. It's emotional and spiritual development. And, and those things are very important. It's not just about kicking and punching. And you, you won't see, most students won't go out and, and start a fight. Our students are, are more reserved. They, they sit back, they watch, and they avoid conflict because that's the better route to take. And that's what we teach them. Hmm. I heard that you were pretty good with the swords and nunchucks and scythes and weapons and katas. I know you do much more than just karate. Care to share some of that with us? Um, yes, I've also done a little bit of kickboxing um, competitions, but currently I've, I'm um, building my fitness career as a fitness um, competitor and fitness model. And I think that karate has pushed me to heighten myself in that, in that aspect of the uh, fitness competitions. And um, it, it's a good stepping stone for anyone who wants to get into a more um, intense sports such as boxing or kickboxing or even fitness competitions because there's a, there's a lot of discipline involved with the eating and the training. Um, you have to eat strictly every day. You have to train intensely every day and it's, it's very important and I think the karate has helped me immensely to stay on the right track and, and keep discipline. Tiger Lady, I'm, I'm anxious to see this. Care to, care to share some of these techniques with us? I would love and to. The viewers? Let me go ahead and take you down to the mat and I'll show you a few by techniques. All, by all means, ladies first. Thank you. Us! Gunkaku! Us! That was beautiful. That Thank was dynamic. What was the name of that kata that you just did? Kankaku. Kankaku. Translation, Trans crane on a rock. Crane on a rock. That's, the, uh, that's one of the advanced black belt katas. How long have you been doing that kata? Oh, 
A long time. A long time. <laughs> a long time. I see there's a lot of good, strong side thrust kicks involved in that yes. kata. Karate is our style of karate. Japanese uh, Shotokan is a lot of mixture of hands and feet. And so we uh, like to mix it up, keep it a, a nice balance. And I see you did a good job in mixing it up and keeping that balance. Thank you. Well done, Thank well you. done. Beautiful kata. Beautiful kata. Thank <laughs> you.